My name is Meja One. I'm a hip hop MC, a reggae vocalist, but I'm also a promoter, an arts educator, a designer, an entrepreneur. I could be in the studio writing music, rocking a show, or booking an artist for my Singapore based event known as the Singapore Adept Club. I was born in Singapore, but grew up in Canada, where I began my career as a rapper. I'm probably the first Asian female MC to be featured on Canadian TV. This is Rajati from Amaro Sound System, alongside Mazia One, pop, pop, pop. on the road to the Saigon Reggae Festival. Gonna be mash up the dance tonight. It's now my first time in thriving and modern Saigon, and I'm here to perform at the Saigon Reggae Music Festival. Reggae music is still pretty new in Vietnam, but for a country of 90 million people, subcultures have a pretty big following. I arrived to a warehouse full of expats from all around the world and Vietnamese locals jumping, skanking, and dancing to that dub rhythm. All right. We're in Ho Chi Minh City, and we're gonna meet my homies, Brian and Curly, and meet um, a Vietnamese artist, hip-hop artist that's blowing up the spot right now. His name is Andre, and we're gonna go into one of the most happening streets in Ho Chi Minh City to see him. I also had a chance to stop into studio with Saigon's reigning hip-hop queen, Su Boy, to check out what she's been working on. Many of the young hip-hop and reggae artists from Vietnam are making Western-style music in Vietnamese language for the first time. Their YouTube followings are in the millions, and right now, I'm interested in producing and writing for some of these artists. We're gonna hit a hip-hop spot here and check it out. Toronto Maple Leafs. What, what? From Canada. The next stop was Changsha, China, to perform for a music festival. Years after a cultural revolution, where there was no music, no dance, and no fashion, it's an exciting time in China, and opportunities for subcultures like reggae are popping up everywhere. This is the best food, Okay, that one. All right, so we're here in Changsha. I figure since we are here, we should try some uh, local cuisine, although my homegirl here says this is more for foreigners. Yo, my hands are shaking. I'm nervous to eat this. The final leg of my whirlwind month of touring is in Indonesia. I was once told no one has enough years in their life to see all of Indonesia. There are so many islands that make up this beautiful nation. This time, I'm touring the islands of Bali, Gili Trawangan, and Gili Air, alongside Jakarta-based reggae sound system, Yella Sky. Welcome to Gili Dub Club. Reggae music is well established here. Halfway across the world from Jamaica, island people share that island sound and connection. I'm so inspired by the beauty of these islands and the airy vibes of all the people that I've met. It's never easy to leave everything you know and start again in a new place. I miss my life in Canada and all my friends. I made this video diary to remind myself of this time, of these first steps in learning new languages, learning cultures, and I hope to build more connections between the reggae communities of Southeast Asia and Canada, and of course, Jamaica. These are the first sparks to catch a fire. I know I've lived the best life, doing what I love full time. This next chapter of my life is to develop something bigger than myself, to foster connections and create a platform that will allow artists the same opportunities I've experienced. Sometimes you just have to make up your mind, 
go somewhere really far away to come home with something new. If music is my language, hustle is my art. I'll see you soon, Canada.